All right, you guys, this is the very first video that I'm filming that I'm a mom. Do I look different? Do I look more sleep deprived? Do I look, I don't know, is there like a transformation? Can you tell I'm a mom now? I have sped up on my shirt. It's just a whole thing. <laughs> but welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I have sat down and filmed, so I am excited to film. My husband has the baby upstairs, hopefully. He's content the whole time and I'm not leaking during this video. <laughs> you hear that? That would be bad. <laughs> so in this video, I'm gonna be testing out some new products that came in the mail and just doing a general get ready with me, you know, kind of catching up since it has been a while since I filmed. Lots have happened. I have a baby now. Um, we added a third little person to our family. I just want this video to be a little bit more relaxed. So if you enjoy these videos, be sure to give this one a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content and wanna stick around. So I have some really exciting products to test out. They actually, like most of them are new. I have the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder Light Catcher. I am so pumped to try this. It's supposed to be mattifying, but also light catching in some way. I have a bronzer from Druvia's Place. I also have a matte palette from Milani that looked really good. Probably not gonna use it in this video, but I do have the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Mattifying Powder. If you want me to do a video on this powder, please let me know. And then I also have a Maybelline Lifter Gloss to test out. I've heard really good things about it. So excited to jump back into makeup. If you can't tell, I am like just breaking out. My skin is doing a whole thing. Right now when I'm filming this, I am officially two weeks like on the dot, two weeks postpartum. I haven't worn a whole lot of makeup, so I'm excited to have some time to myself. You know what, when you're sleep deprived and you have a crying baby all the time, you just, your brain does some weird things. I have missed filming. I have missed doing makeup. The extent of my makeup has been like the Makeup Forever powder. When I do my makeup, I don't go for liquid foundations anymore. It's just not what I have time for. So I try to do my makeup, you know, I've done it a few times since he's been born, but most of the time I'm rocking a no makeup face because I'm tired and it's just me and Chris here, so. <laughs> and I don't think babies care if you wear makeup. Not everything is brand new in this video. I definitely do have products I'm using. Most of them you've seen on my channel before, but I'm gonna take my Tarte Clean Slate Primer. Honestly, a lot of the stuff I just pulled out from my hospital bag in which I did not use any makeup when I went to the hospital, yet I still brought a makeup bag. Don't know why I did. Um, if you guys would like to see me reacting to my hospital, like what I'm packing for the hospital video with what I actually used. I feel like those videos are really fun to watch. I don't know, they're informative. So let me know if you want me to do that video. I definitely am open to it because I have some thoughts about what I brought and what I would pack next time compared to what I actually did bring. Cause yeah, I definitely do things different next time. For foundation, I'm gonna go in with the tried and true L'Oreal Fresh Wear. You just cannot go wrong with this foundation. It is the best foundation ever. I also am curious if you guys want me to do a birth video. Like I didn't, um, I mean, you guys will would have seen the vlog by now of me like going into labor and stuff. We didn't film a whole lot at the hospital because I was in labor and I don't know how people do that. Like I don't, I don't understand how they have the stamina or ability to because basically most of my labor was overnight and I don't know how people, I don't know how I would have filmed that. I was exhausted. I was in pain, you guys. Wow, labor is so much different than I thought it was going to be. And uh, I needed to use all of my focusing power on getting through contractions. That's kind of a side note. If you guys want me to do a labor or birth story, I would love to do that. I would love to kind of walk you through a little bit more in depth of like what happened, how I got through labor, what resources I found helpful, just what my experience was. So let me know down below if you'd like me to do that. I'm probably gonna do film it anyway, but it's more helpful if you tell me that you want it. <laughs> I need to clean all my everything. We do laundry constantly now, which is so fun. I never realized how sparingly I did laundry until I had a baby. Then, you know, you do laundry like 
four or five times a week. It's just crazy. But I need to clean this beauty blender. It is not blending as well as I would like. I've noticed since I gave birth, like my, the way my skin is just in a mood. I feel like I'm breaking out. I feel like my skin is more dry than normal. I'm not a fan and I would like it to go back to the way it was because when I was pregnant, I actually had really good skin. <laughs> This is not even a liquid foundation that's mattifying. Like the fresh wear is definitely a natural satin finish. So the fact that it looks just a tiny bit dry on my cheeks says, hey, I do not need a mattifying foundation right now. So yeah, two weeks postpartum feels like yesterday that he arrived. Just is pretty crazy how, how much time flies. Chris was able to take good amount of time off from work to stay with me while I adjusted because I'm a first time mom and I don't know what I'm doing. Taking the Tarte Shape Tape for my concealer. Yeah, it was definitely like a huge, huge thing for Chris to be able to stay home with me and help me manage a baby. And that's honestly how I've gotten through the last two weeks because I would not have been able to if he did not take time off. <laughs> I'm really digging this packaging. Look at this. So reflective and then it's like matte black on the top. So this powder retails for $39, the same price as the regular translucent powder. I ordered all this off of Ulta and I have mine in the shade Celestial Light, which is the lightest. So it doesn't, it says that it's translucent, but it does seem to have, like when you go into ordering this product, it says that the shade I got is Fair to Light Skin Tones. So it does look like it has a little bit of a tint to it. And what's cool is each of the lids are different depending on which product you got. So mine is going to be silver. You can also have a rose gold lid or a gold lid. Um, has really good reviews. It says it's the first light creating setting powder with 12 hour pore blurring, skin smoothing, and no photo flashback. Absorbs excess oil immediately and all day. Doubles the wear of foundation. Visibly controls the appearance of oil immediately and all day. I'm gonna go ahead and set down thy concealer. I do love the regular setting powder, so I'm very excited to try this. Ooh, this is giving me hourglass vibes. This is the lightest shade, Celestial Light. Look how dark that is. Hopefully it matches me, because this is the lightest shade they have. Like that is definitely tinted. Oh no. Oh no. This has glitter in it. Is it supposed to? I just set my whole concealer and now I look glittery. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit closer. Hopefully you can see that now, look. So when they said light catching, they meant glitter. <laughs> is that going to help? I don't know. I'm really curious to see how this is gonna look all over my face. <laughs> So far, I'm really enjoying mom life. Like I have 12 weeks off, so very excited and grateful for that. Looking forward just to enjoying time with him. We do have a snoo. So if you don't know what that is, it is a like smart bassinet and it literally has changed the game for sleep. He will sleep eight hours, not all the way through. He will get up at like, Th between three and three and a half hours every night, but he does sleep. Like if I put him back down to sleep, he will sleep for a total of eight hours throughout the night, which is awesome. I don't know how I feel about this. Maybe I'm just, it's too concentrated. I'm wondering if I went in with a fluffy brush and kind of buffed this out. Cause as I'm going back over it, it is dispersing the glitter a bit more, so it's not as glittery than when it first was applied. So I'm gonna take my big fluffy brush here, take a good amount and go ahead and set everything. OMG, so glittery. So this is light catching, but also mattifying. Huh, can't really tell that it's mattifying because it just is adding a glow to my skin. <laughs> This might be like really good if you want a mattifying powder that doesn't look matte. This to me definitely is adding a good glow, like a radiance to my skin. But if it's gonna keep me matte all day, well that is nice. You can see what they mean by light catching. It doesn't look like it's deepening my foundation, even though it looks really dark in the container. Okay, do I need a highlight with this? 
Probably not. Really hope this looks better in person. <laughs> Because I feel like it just looks so glowy. Can you guys see the glitter and just the overall glow? Maybe that was the gist. Maybe, you know, light catching means adding that radiance. But I can just see little tiny glitters and sparkle. Not sparkles, but it just looks like I added the hourglass ambient lighting powder like all over my face. So we'll have to see how this wears because I, I don't I'm not I don't know yet I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape use it as an eyeshadow base so about this new if you are expecting or plan to get pregnant in the future you can just go ahead and buy us new now we are borrowing it from a family friend which we're so so grateful for because um, now, if I, what I know about how well it works, I would have gone and bought one myself. Like, it's bought in a word, bought. I do not foresee myself having kids in the future without using this new. It is just so good. Basically, it's a smart bassinet where it can sense when baby needs to be soothed. So like when he is moving around in the bassinet and just kind of squirmy or when he starts crying or fussing, it will up the amount of white noise it makes and then it will also increase how much it movement it has. But it's been so great to have it in our room where we are able to, I can trust that he is in there securely. It has a little kind of sleep sack where it like kind of like a straight jacket in a way where it kind of like pushes him pushes his arms down up against him um zips up so he cannot escape from it he cannot get out of it and he's good for the whole night like it is basically the safest I think research based sleeping method to use with a newborn and with a baby. So highly recommend the snoo. You can also rent the snoo by the way for like a few hundred bucks a month and it is worth it. I guess I'm just not used to my skin looking this way. It just looks like, I don't know if I would use it for underneath my eyes because it just makes the underneath my eye part look kind of oily. But let's go ahead and move on to the Juvia's Place Bronzed Bronze in the shade Light. I saw this and I thought this was really pretty. I don't think I've really tried a whole lot from Juvia's Place other than their eyeshadow palettes. The bronze palette looks like this. It has two different bronzers. It has a, I assume this is for contour and this is for bronzing. I'm just gonna kind of use both because I only use one brush for a bronzer. <laughs> so this is a bronzer duo. It retails for $18. Yeah, and mine is light to fair skin tones. Go ahead and use my regular brush here. Start with this lighter shade. I do like the tones. Like I like that the top one is just a tiny bit more cool toned and the bottom one is more warm. And you get a lot of product too, like the pans are really big. Really like that shade. It's a nice cool tone without being too ashy. Now I'm gonna take the bottom shade, just bronze up the cheeks a little bit more. I really like this palette, this is nice. Adds like a really nice soft matte bronzed look and I love that it is the contour and bronzer shade in one palette. Now let's go ahead. I'm going to take the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Powder Blush in the shade Desert Rose. This has been really pretty. I don't think it's necessarily a matte formula on my skin. It seems a little bit more satin. See, it just adds like a really nice rosy hue. I think for highlight, I'm going to go in with a little bit more of a natural highlight. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlight in the shade Be My Highlight. Highlight, highlight, so many highlight words. And just apply this to the tops of my cheekbones. I don't really need a ton because most of my face is looking kind of glowy anyway. I think next time I use that powder, I'm going to use a more, like more of a fluffy brush than this one, just like a really diffused brush because I feel like when I used it with this, it just was very defined. Like it just was very concentrated. I don't know what I did to this eyebrow, but like where's the rest of it? I think I cut it and it just like 
didn't grow back this section, so I need to let it let it be for a while while it grows back. <laughs> Going in with my NYX brow pencil, this has been great, and the shade is um, ash brown. It's just like the perfect tone for me, I think. I never knew, like really knew, how much you're not able to have a schedule when you have a newborn. Like basically everything just revolves around them and they're eating and they're sleeping and it's just that way. I am ready for it to not be so, you know, unpredictable. I like things to be predictable, don't like change, you know, it's just not being able to determine a schedule and stuff is just, you know, it's not easy. And I feel like I'm trying my best to go with the flow, but it is hard to do that when you're so used to being in charge of your own schedule and knowing what to expect. I'm gonna set that down with the Milk Makeup Kush Brow Gel. This is clear. Let's go ahead and try out this Milani palette. I have the Ungilded Most Loved Mattes. So this retails for $20, has all matte shades in it. I thought it, they looked really, really pretty and kind of like a version of the Anastasia uh, Modern Renaissance without the shimmers. It says all matte shades in must-have neutrals designed to complement a wide range of skin tones. Hyper pigmented one swipe color payoff. Ooh, this is magnetized. That's nice. And this is what the shades look like. Do you see what I mean? I think it's like the pinks and the this shade right here that looks so much like the Modern Renaissance. And this shade, it just is like the Modern Renaissance. I'm gonna go ahead, take a big fluffy brush and go in with the shade Toast of the Town. It is this one right here. Throw this in the crease. There is quite a bit of fallout from the shadow. That's a nice transition shade. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Salty Caramel. This is like yummy. Oh my gosh, I really like that shade. Oh, kind of keeping it towards the outer part of my eye. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna take the shade Sienna Sunset right here on a different brush. Let's put it all over the lid. Just gonna take a flat brush right here. Just pack this on. Very pretty, I like that shade a lot. I'm gonna go back in with this shade. Take a little bit more of Sienna Sunset and just kind of blend it. So as you can see, it definitely dulled the shade when I went back over and blended the edges. Gonna take a denser brush and go in with the shade Cinnamon Spice right here and put that in the outer V. Like right here. Wow, we're getting really dark. <laughs> we're getting deep. Ugh, was not expecting to go this dark with this look, but this is where we're at. This is a really nice palette so far. Very, very pigmented. Just to lighten it a little bit, I'm gonna take the Essence Pure Nude Highlight on a tiny brush and put it in the inner corner. This is the most elaborate I've done my makeup in weeks. All right, and then the last thing I have to test out, I'm going to take this NARS Rouge Lipstick. It is a satin lipstick in, a sh in the shade Tol Toledi. Toledi? I don't know. Looks very pretty. I'm gonna take this and then add the gloss on top. Not sure if this goes with the eye look, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to test out things. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Opal. I thought this was so pretty. Can you see the little reflex in it? I just thought this shade was really nice. This apparently has hyaluronic acid in it. And this was $8.99 on Ulta. Um, there's tons of shades here, by the way. It says it's for fuller lips, lasting hydration. The fuller lips concerns me a little bit because I don't want it to make my lips super like tingly and they hurt. Don't know how I feel about the scent. It's mild. I like the wand. Okay, that's the gloss. 
It's definitely more of a like pale pink shade. I will show you what it looks like. That is the shade right there. Very pretty. I like that gloss a lot. It's makes my lips look very reflective. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is everything that I had to try out in this video. Let me just highlight the ones that I really like so far. I do like the powder. I feel like it's set in, it's melted into my skin a little bit more, but it definitely does add a bit of a glow. So I think it actually would work really nicely with a mattifying foundation. Hopefully it keeps me matte, but I am enjoying more of the kind of glowy finish now that I have the rest of the products on my skin. So, but I don't know, verdict's still out. We're gonna have to see how this wears. Really, really love this bronzing duo. I think this is so pretty. I love the tones of both powders. If you're similar skin tone to me, I think you would really like this palette a, a lot. Really like this Milani eyeshadow a lot. I don't think I had a product that like I didn't like actually. And so far the gloss feels very nice, very slippy, not super sticky, and it just looks really pretty on the lips. So I am a big fan of everything so far. I think it just took a while to get used to the way that the powder looks on my skin, especially like when I look at myself from a distance far away, I can't know, like I don't see the the spark, the glitter on my skin as much as if I'm like really, really up close. And you have to remember, like I have lights shining at me, so maybe it's kind of emphasizing it a little bit more than if it was in like natural daylight, you know? But it definitely is light catching, that's for sure. <laughs> Again, let me know what videos you'd like to see down below if you'd like me to do a like reacting to my hospital bag video. And if you want me to do my birth story, I would love to do those videos as well. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.